to solve it by not problem involving logarithmic. From here, let's use two method. The fourth method here. Let's take the log on both sides, that is, actual log on both sides here. And what is given here with this guy will now become log x raised to power log x base 3 now. Then this guy will become log 81. That is, we are taking the log on both sides. Then, from here, when we apply the power log logarithm, that is log n raised to power of t, same thing as t log n. Then when we use this here, the power here, we can take it to the back here, and this will become log x to base 3, then times here we have log x, now equals to log 81 on this side. Then, in the next step, we can rewrite this from change of base. When we have log A, base B, the same thing as log A over log B. So here, we can equally write this as log X over log A from here. Then multiply by log x now equals to log 81 on this side then from here this log x and log x can multiply and that will give us log x all square then over log 3 then here we can change this 81 as 3 raised to power 4. 3 multiply itself 4 times and that will give us log 3 raised to power 4 here. Then also applying the power law here, 4 can come to the back here and then this gives us log x all square then over log 3 now equals to here we have 4 log on this side then also here to remove this log 3 here we can multiply both sides by log 3 and also multiply this side by log 3 and here log 3 we cancel each other so we are left with log x or square then equals to also log 3 times log 3 that will give us log 3 all square from here to this square place. So we have log x all square. And here we have 4 log 3 all square. Then to remove this square here, we can introduce the square roots on both sides. So when we take the square roots here, also we take the square roots here. Yes, square we cancel square roots. This will give us simply log x, which is equal to here. The square root we have pressed is 4, that's root 4. And also I press this log 3 square, that's log 3 all square now. And from here, square also cancel square root. That simply gives us log 3. Then here we have log x now equals to here what we have. Is either plus or minus 2, then times log 3. Then from here, two possible cases. The first one we have log x equals to 2 log 3, and the second one here we have log x equals to minus 2 log 3. Then solving on this side, we can reverse the power law here. That is, here we now have log x equals to log 3 squared. Then from here, log can cancel each other here, such that we have x now equals to 3 squared. So x here now.
now equals to 3 square is 3 times 3, which is simply 9. So we have x equals to 9 on this side. Then on this other side as well, we reverse the power law so that this log x now equals to log 3 then raised to power minus 2. Also log cancel each other, we have x equals to raised to power minus 2 and from here we can write this as x equals to 1 over 3 square from the law of indices and that's simply x equals to 1 over 9 from here. So this we have from the first method. Then on the second method, what is given which is x raised to power log x to base 3 equals to 81. Here let's take log to base x on both sides then this side will be now log x raised to power log x to base 3 then to base x so we take log to base x also here we have log 81 then to base x then now from here also the power law applied here we take log x to stay the back here so we have log x base 3 now then to be multiplying by log x then base x left which is equals to here we still have log 81 base x then we should recall that log a base a is equals to 1 on the law of log reading then everything here now is just 1 so we now have log x base 3 left which is equals to on this side we have let's leave it as log 81 base x then in the next step 81 and also be written as 3 raised to power 4 that is now we have log x base 3 now equals to log 3 raised to power 4 base x and from here the power law what can come here then this will give us log x base 3 now equals to 4 log 3 base x then from here what we have almost similar here just that here we have log x base 3 then when we apply this log log in now we have log a base b we can use this as 1 over log b base a now so then let's change this one to log 3 base x as well so i think this will become 1 over log 3 base x now which is now equals to 4 times log 3 base x here then from here let's remove this and multiply both side by log 3 base x on both sides so multiply both sides by log 3 base x and here log 3 base x we cancel out and we are left with 1 here which is now equals to 4 multiply by here so now we are written as log 3 base x or square then same thing as writing it first and say this is 4 times log 3 base x all square now equals to 1 then from here we can simply take the side by 4 first then here we have divided by 4 divided by 4 here cancel out and this will give us log 3 to base x all square now equals to 1 over 4 then here now we can take the square root on both sides that is the square root on this side and the square root on this side square we cancel square root and this simply becomes log 3 base x now equals to here we have plus or minus 1 over 2 from here and also from here we have two cases we have log 3 base x equals to half that's the first case then also the second case we have log 
property is x equals to minus half. Then we can change from log a from to index sum. That this one we have something of log b base a equals to n. We can say this is simply b equals to a raised to power n. So this is how to change from log a to index. That is here we can write this as 3 equals to x raised to power half. And then uh, what we have here now, we can remove this half and multiply both power by 2. That is here, this cancel out and remain x raised to power 1, which is x. Now equals to 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. So x equals to 9 from this side. Then, also from here, we apply the same thing. So we say 3 now equals to x raised to power minus half. Then to remove this minus half, it means we need to multiply this out by minus 2. The power by minus 2. Then here, this minus times minus plus, then this cancel out. Then we are left with x now, which is equal to 2 raised to power minus 2. Then, from the law of indices, this sentence has x equals to 1 over 3 squared. Then, which is x equals to 1 over 9. So, also we have x equals to 1 over 9, which is similar to the answer. Or, let me say this, same thing with the first you know, method. The answer will go there. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. See you next time and bye for now.